Hi guys, I'm Joe Moore, I play Johnny in the Dumping Ground. Um, I'm going to be talking to Shelley today from Timber Tops about Mr Nibbles, he's a rabbit and he appears in the show, we find him in the vegetable patch. So just going to be asking Shelley a few questions about how to care for rabbits on set and in your home. So Shelley, domestic rabbits obviously need to be housed properly, so how could this be you know, achieved? You can get indoor cages, outdoor cages. They need to be big enough for them to be able to jump around, stretch out, and you know, do natural, normal behaviours for a rabbit. Do domestic rabbits need a rabbit run? Um, how big should this be? Yeah, all rabbits should have exercise runs. If they're outdoors, you should try and have access to them 24 hours, so attached to the hutch. They need to be at least eight foot long and big enough for them to really jump around. Do rabbits need the company of other rabbits to feel settled or can you know humans provide that companionship that they need? It is better for rabbits to have the company of rabbits. Um, they can obviously can do the natural behaviours together. Indoor rabbits can become a lot more sociable with humans, with running around the house, having access to humans all the time. But obviously if you need to go out, it's nice for them to still have, have company. What kind of food should you give to eat for a rabbit? Um, obviously sometimes foods that are stereotypically good for them can actually turn out to be bad. Rabbits should live mainly on a 75% diet of hay, um, a good quality hay for them. Then you should give them some rabbit nuggets. You don't feed them the muesli, it can upset the digestion. And then obviously a nice handful of green vegetables, things like cabbage, broccoli. You can give them carrots but not too many because they're high in sugar. I've always been told not to feed them lettuce. It's too, it, it's too high in a water content for them and can cause kidney problems with them. How should a rabbit be you know, safely handled and picked up? Make sure first of all before you pick them up that they are feeling safe and then you get one hand underneath the body and one hand underneath the bum and pick together and bring into your chest. Keeping one hand to support the bum and one hand over the shoulders. Is there any special steps you need to take with a pregnant rabbit or a rabbit that's recently had babies? Um, how do you look after that? You should limit how much you pick them up. Obviously a belly full of babies is going to get uncomfortable for and very you can become a little bit agitated. Um, when they are born, then just leave the mum alone with the babies to get settled. Don't try and interfere in the nest or anything like that. Just leave it until the babies are peeking out themselves before you do anything. So what steps are we personally ensuring that the rabbits and her babies will be safe during the filming period? Well, we've left mum now for seven days to be able to form a bond with her babies. While she's on set, I'm going to minimise any sort of access to her, no touching, and only important people that need to be there will be there to try, try, really try and keep the stress as down as we can. If a TV company wants to film a baby rabbit, do you breed them especially? No, not generally. We, um, we go into the pet industry and breed them for, for that purpose. It just so happens that when Dumping Ground called us, we had a mother in kit already, so it, it worked out okay. Alright, well Shelley, thank you for those great answers and thanks for watching guys.